Kagum is a traditional Japanese basket weave that is often used in architectural structures. It is a very strong and sturdy weave. In this video, we are going to see how we can recreate the Kagum pattern in a column. This column was designed by Shigeru Ban, a famous Japanese architect. Without further ado, let's start to the tutorial. To begin with, we will create a hexagonal grid. Next, connect number sliders with the hexagonal component to adjust the size of the cells, the X and the Y extents. We'll now divide those hexagonal cells into six equal triangles. To do that, first extract the segment of the cells by exploding. Then we extrude to the center using extrude point component. The center obtained from hexagonal cells we'll use here for target extrusion point. To match the tree structure, I will graph them. Connect the extrusion result directly to curved containers to retrieve the boundary edges. Using those triangles, we will creating a kagum pattern. Let's first have a look at our strategy. First, we will explode those triangle. Next, we will locate the midpoint of each segment and then use polylines to connect each group of three points. It's straightforward to apply this in Grasshopper. First, we extract the segments of triangles by using explode component. Find midpoint of them and create polyline. Invert Boolean to true to get closed polyline. All right, we see the patterns now. This can be projected to the surface. As you can see in this image, the pattern on the columns is oriented toward the center. So first we find one hexagonal cell at the center and remove the curve inside it. To do that first, we join all curves that have the same direction. Here we have three different direction of curves. We will group the curve that have similar angles and join separately. After that, we make the tip of each curve to point toward the center. I will use explode curve. This gives me each segment of triangle. Next, measure the angle between one reference line and those curves. Let's take a look at the values of the angles. There are a few different angles, but they are repeated in a pattern that is quite arbitrary. We can obtain unique angles by using create set component. This gives us six different angles. However, there are only three direction curves visible when we look at the curves visually. Some curves point out in opposite direction, which is why we get six different result. So we use flip curve component. The guide curve will be the previous line we drew. After flipping the curves, we get three different angle result. Using member index component, find the index of item that has similar angle to these. Next, by using list item component, we can arrange in three different branches. This allows to join the curves that placed in same branch. Let's bake and see the result. Now we successfully join the curves according to their direction. You may wonder why we chose to take this step rather than flatten and join all the curves. Let's try it that way, but we won't achieve the same outcome. Next, we will find one hexagonal cell around the center of the grid. First, we will extract the point and find the average position. Flatten the points to get one average point. Using closest point component, find the index of closest point to the average point. We 
We can select the hexagonal cell that is closest to the average point by using the index we obtained from closest point component. This hexagonal cell will be used to trim out the pattern inside of it. I will use Trim with Region component and select the outside curve output. Next, we will select the curves that split into two. Let's see the data structure by connecting to Param Viewer component. In some branch, there is two items. Those are the curves that trim by hexagonal cells. So we will filter out by using Prune Tree component. By using Extend Curve component, we will trim the tip of the curves until the distance between them equal. Because of all the curves directions are not toward the center, we just trim some of the curves here. So we need to sort their direction. First find the midpoint of those curves and create line from the center to each midpoint. Now we can flip the previous curve using these line as a guide. The starting point between the curves is nearly equal. Next, we'll draw another curve from the curve's start point toward the center. Using point on curve component, find the starting point. Find the average of these points, then create line between the average point and starting point. Rebuild the curves with degree of 3 to smooth out the joining location. We will select the remaining pattern using Prune Tree. Next, make circular column-like structure, and we will project those pattern onto it. First, make circle. Place it in different height. To do that, use move component. For vectors, create a range of numbers and connect to use the vector component. This will place the circle in different C position. Next, we will scale the circles using Graph Mapper. We use previous range component by copy and paste. Disconnect previous domain. By default, it will set to zero to one. So we can now remap using Graph Mapper. After that, remap using remap numbers component and use for scaling factor.
Now loft those circles. Give it the loft result past the last circle. So in loft option, chose loosen. Next, we will find the bounding rectangle of the cells. Move in's direction to same height to the last circle and make surface between the last circle and the rectangle. Join all surfaces. Using project component, we can now project the pattern onto this geometry. To make thickness to the curves, first, we offset the curves in both sides. After project, we can loft both set of curves. Use trim tree with two depth to get two curves in one branch, so we can loft between them. Give thickness using offset surface component. Finally, we will array using rectangular array component. The size of the cells for array can be determined using those expression.
If you are interested in the final Grasshopper script, check out our Patreon page with this who can support the channel. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.